hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today's look is inspired by this look I found on Instagram. Let's get started. First, I'm going in with Milk's cooling water under my eyes to de-puff. And sorry about all of the clips in this video that are out of focus. I was having some trouble with my camera and I didn't want all of this footage to go to waste. So I apologize. Next, I'm going in with Becca's primer. I forgot what this is called, but it's supposed to brighten your skin. And it gives it a really nice slippy base for anything else to go on top. Feels really nice and it has a great scent. This one is an old favorite. It is NYX Total Control Foundation Drops. And I love this. It feels so light on your skin but gives such great coverage. And I'm just using a damp beauty blender to pounce it on. I'm sure you all know what this is and what I'm using it for. Just trying to highlight my face and give myself some extra coverage in certain areas just to brighten it up and give my face more dimension. Again, I'm so sorry that it is out of focus. I promise I'm getting better. I'm just getting used to this setup. Next, I'm using a favorite, the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek. And this is in the dark berry color. I forgot the name of it. I'm using my finger, just blending that in. It is very intense, so I went back in with the Beauty Blender around the edges just to clean it up. Now here's where you can choose to set your face or not. I am, and I'm using Ben Nye's Colorless Powder. And I'm kind of baking, but I didn't leave it on my skin that long. But again, it's up to you how you want to set your face. If you want to set your face, it all depends on your skin and what looks good and I thought this would look best for the foundation. Next I moved on to brows and for this I used Milk's Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the color Haze which is the lightest color. To thicken up and define the brows a bit more I used this taupey brown shade in the Tarte Pro palette and just made a line across the bottom to define the edge and blended it up into the hairs a bit more. Next, to define that brow even more, I went back in with Shape Tape and a large concealer brush and went along the bottom edge of the brow. To map out the flames, I used this tiny little brush and the same shadow I used in my eyebrows to map out the flames and where they would go and what shape they would be. This way it was easier to just brush it off if I made a mistake or cover it up later with other makeup. Once I was happy with the shape, I went in with Sugar Pills Zero Liquid Lipstick and the same small brush and started filling in the shape that I created. This part is probably the most difficult part of the look, so just be patient and enjoy the process because it might take a few coats to get fully opaque. And if you can, rest your hand or your elbow on a table just so that your hand is as steady as it can be. It will help so much. It felt like my face was still pretty powdery, so I just went in with a dense face brush and brushed it off. And then I went in with my Sugar Pill palette and took the lightest green shade. I wanted to make these flames look like they were alive and magical, so I'm 
going to be making one of them green and one of them purple and just shading them as if they were a real flame that kind of dissipated, the color evaporated towards the edges. Next I'm going in with a smaller brush and a darker green from the same Sugar Pill Pro palette and I'm going closer to the black and just intensifying that green so that it looks like it's exploding green. So I patted in the color to start and now I'm blending the edges so that the greens blend well into each other. Next, I'm taking the Black Sugar Pill eyeshadow on a tiny little smudgy brush and going right along the edges of the black liquid lipstick to make the look even more smoky. And quickly to the next eye, I am taking the purple from the Sugar Pill palette and I'm doing the same as I did on the green side except with the purple eyeshadow. I wasn't super happy with how the shadows were blending into my skin, so I took a super fluffy brush and the white, and I believe it's called Sugar Cookie from the Sugar Pill palette, and I blended that along the edges of both eyes. Then I just went back in with the black on both eyes, touched up around with the color, and just worked with it until I was happy. After all that shadow, it's time to touch up the black, so I went over the lipstick areas again with the same brush and liquid lipstick. I added a few flecks of flames and I made sure to really drag it into my hairline. I went ahead and did my eyes off camera just because it's a simple smoky eye using all the colors we used in the flames. I went up here and I just was touching up all of the edges because I wanted to make sure it looked super black and smoky and I also patted some black eyeshadow throughout the flames just to intensify the opacity of that liquid lipstick. Here I'm using the Surat Beauty Eyelash Curlers to get them ready for faux lashes. These are the lashes I'll be using and I'm cutting off the edges because my eyes are shorter and I'm using those cut off pieces to put them underneath my eyes. All you gotta do is flip them so that they are curved outward instead of under and then just hold them up while they dry so they don't droop down. To blend my lashes with those fake lashes, I'm using Milk's Kush Mascara on top and bottom. Next, to make these flames really sparkle, I took the Kat Von D Holographic Alchemist Highlighting Palette thing, and I used the green on the green side and the purple shift on the purple side. Looking back on this look, I think it would be really cool to add glitter to the tips or even over top all of the flames. Took those same highlighters on the inner corners and then I used the black liquid lipstick on the lips. Again, sorry it is out of focus, but I'm sure you know how to put on lipstick. Next, I tried to make this wig work, but if I'm honest, I preferred it just with my bald head. Let me know in the comments what you think. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe.
subscribe and comment below if you have any other ideas what I should do. Have a good one. Bye.